Hey, Firebrand X here with a uh, follow-up video on the SSD S3 bypass board uh, audio demo I did. Uh, I've had a few requests from people wanting to hear what the original sound sounded like as, you know, with the uh, 10 UF cap uh, not on the uh, board. Sort of like how the SSD S3 originally sounded because it did not have the 10 UF cap on it. Uh, they since started shipping them with that cap installed as the as the sound fix for the buzz, but uh, just wanted to do a demo so you can hear the difference. Uh, so I'm going to activate the sound from the SSD S3, and then I'm going to mute my microphone, and uh, so you can get the full experience. And I'll load um, Forgotten Worlds and pause it during the game, since it still plays the music but silences it you'll hear the full effect of the buzzing as it accesses the, the SD card uh, so let me mute my microphone and turn on the audio of the SSD S3 and uh, when it's paused during the game in uh, Forgotten Worlds I'll increase the volume by 12 decibels so you can really hear the full effect of how bad that buzzing sound is so let's get that started and I'll mute my microphone So you can see that's pretty freaking bad, although like I say, that's with 12 decibels increase. Let me put it back down to normal 0 decibel volume. Okay, that's at 0 decibels and it's still noticeable how bad that buzzing sound is, so let me turn that off. Alright, so now I'm going to play the same boot up sequence only with the 10 UF cap installed on my board so you can hear the difference and then I'll discuss some things after that. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, do the same boot up demo with the 10 UF cap installed back on my board and we'll do the same thing, load up uh, Forgotten Worlds. And uh, when I turn up the volume there, you'll notice that that buzzing is gone. There's still some analog noise that does come through and I've determined that cannot be avoided. It uh, would be coming from the console itself. It just uh, for whatever reason doesn't give clean audio uh, and this is on my super graphics so each system will have different kinds of noise that it adds but uh, uh, at any rate you'll get a good idea of comparing to the original without the uh, 10 UF cap so I'll go ahead and mute my microphone and this time I'll remember to load the profile for the wider screen uh, Forgotten Worlds I forgot to do that but I'll try to do that this time around so here we go All right, so you can see there that when I turn the volume up 12 decibels, which would be ear shattering loud if I were to like unpause it, you can still hear there is some noise in the background. It's just going to be your basic analog noise that can't really be filtered out, uh, at least not easily. So, um, and this is how it actually sounds without my bypass board. I've actually tried this 
with just the SSD S3 and uh, with the 10 UF cap directly to the board, I get the same level of noise issue. Uh, so uh, just to let you know, there's nothing wrong with my board that uh, you are going to get some analog sound noise. Um, but it's not anywhere near as bad as it is without the cap fix. So let me turn this back down to 12 decibels, I mean to zero decibels. And you can see, uh, playing it this way, this is an acceptable amount of analog noise. I mean, you can barely hear it. You see, compared to the game volume, that was uh, a much more acceptable level of, of background noise the way it is now. So, uh, thanks for watching.